Hey, thanks for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at linear inequality and number lines, level two. All right, so let's begin. So first I wanna go over uh, a couple things you need to know. One, uh, we're gonna be solving these inequalities. They're a lot like solving regular equations. It's just that last step could be different. If you are dividing by a negative, you see how you have this negative three here? If you divide by a negative, then you have to swap the inequality around. If it's greater than, make it less than, or if it's less than, make it greater than. Only when you divide by a negative. That's one thing I want to let you know. And second, uh, when you're graphing, um, if it's less than or greater than, um, you want to have an open circle. And if it's less than or greater than or equal to, if it has an equal to there, you're going to have a closed in circle. So again, if you have uh, less than or greater than, the circle is not filled in. And if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you will fill that in. You do include it. So I'm going to show you some examples of both of those. All right, so here it says solve the inequality and then graph the solution on the line provided. So um, this is very similar to just a regular two-step equation. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to... Uh, add 5 on both sides to isolate the negative 7x. Okay. We'll end up with different sides, 5 the difference. 33 minus 5 is 28. The 33 is bigger, leave it negative. Bring down the negative 7x. And now we're going to divide by negative 7. Negative 7. Okay. And when we divide by that negative 7, keep in mind, see how we had the less than or equal to. And we have to swap it around to make it greater than or equal to because we're divided by a negative. And then we're going to graph the line. So when we graph the line, because of the equal to, we will first go to 4, fill it in. And since it's greater than, we go up. X is greater than. And if you ever get confused there, make sure that your arrows match. See how this matches here? It's going this way. It matches that way. As long as the X is on the left side, That'll be fine. It'll definitely go that way. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just do the two-step equation. We're going to isolate the 3x, do the opposite of adding 3 by subtracting 3 on both sides. We got the same side we find the sum. We got negative 12. And now we're going to divide by a positive 3 this time. So because we divide it by a positive 3, we do not change the side around. The 12 is negative, but the 3 is positive. So we leave the inequality the same. And we get x is less than or equal to negative 4. So then we go to negative 4 of the double line, right? And since it's an equal to, we fill in the circle. And then we go up or go left. And it goes the same arrow as the, the inequality side, okay? There's another one. All right, here, same thing. We're going to isolate the, the negative 5x. We're going to add 3 on both sides. Always do the opposite. 32 plus 3 will get us 35. Now we're going to divide by negative 5x or negative 5. And x is going to get us greater than or equal to negative 5. We divide it by that negative, so we swap the inequality around. We go to negative 7 on the number line. And since it's greater than, we go up. And since it has a filled in circle, we, uh, since it has equal to, we fill in the circle. See? So because the arrow is pointing to the right, we go to the right. That works as long as the x is on the left side or the variable is on the left side. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Okay. We're going to isolate the 6x. We're going to do the opposite of minus 7 and add 7 on both sides. You got different signs, so you find the difference. 25 minus 7 is 18. 25 is bigger, so we leave it negative. We divide by positive 6 here. Okay. We're dividing into a negative, but we don't change the inequality around because we're not dividing by a negative. Okay. We got x is greater than negative 3. We go to negative 3 on the number line, 
This time we have an open circle because it doesn't have an equal to. So x is greater than negative 3. And we go the same direction as our inequality is pointing. That's it. That is solving two-step inequalities. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.